and attacking the basket with the dribble. Vito Brown in the starting lineup this year. He and Zach Show Walter, they've been waiting for this moment. Red shirt freshman Ethan Half with the beautiful left hand. Get used to what you just saw right there. Morning in their first three possessions, that was Gilbeck, who's from nearby Spring Green, Wisconsin. It's about 40 miles from Madison. As Showalter on the take, and the high flyer Zach Showalter is on the board. And he's a guy they need to get more production from. Right away, right away. All right, All right I got it out of the way. John, I didn't expect that of you this early in the broadcast schedule. Vito Brown buries a three. Everybody's getting their shots in early here. Got to take this sellout crowd out of it right away, show that they belong in this environment, not be overwhelmed by this as Showalter hits another three. Showalter's been bearing threes through the exhibition schedule. That's by Western Illinois. Haven't seen Nigel Hayes get loose yet. And his first shot, you knew he was going to be a part of it. Yeah, I'll tell you one. If that's what he can do all season, I mean, you see the ability, the poise to put the ball on the deck, get to the ball. Hits his second bucket. Gives him five points. He hit the opening three-pointer. All tied at 12 early. Thomas again. Up short. Oh, and a follow jam. Nigel Hayes. There are multiple guys of things that Bo Ryan's probably going to have to learn to deal with. Having patience with a young group, not communicating defensively. Stuff that they didn't have issues with in the past. Oh, Zach Showalter buries another three. He's in. Glad you're with us tonight on Big Ten Network. Koenig, a little spin. Thomas, deep. Thomas finishes. That's a good job just getting into the paint, but the truth is you see, they drain the three, the tongue's hanging out, playing with a lot of confidence, and that's what you need to do. Uh, if there was ever a time to get Wisconsin, this is the kind of night as Hayes lets one go. Just inside the arc, a long two by Nigel Hayes. He's played a lot of these guys have not played at this level. Iverson with a steal and a flush. Khalil Iverson, his first basket as a Badger is a hammer. That's a good way to kick things off. Get a steal and a breakaway dunk. Show off the... Ten. Fuller is on the bench for now. Iverson with Koenig, and Koenig will fire a three. Got it. Bronson Koenig hits. As I mentioned before, allowing the Badgers to take three-point baskets but not giving up anything in the paint. Koenig hit 44% of his threes last year. Nigel Hayes, a rainmaker. He hits a three, and Wisconsin on top. Thomas, deep inside. Thomas, there, he's got one now. Good job, good balance, good footwork, but it all starts with Khalil Iverson. Feeling, you want to come in here, you got something to prove. Joe Walter, trying to turn the corner, he's got Hayes inside, good pass, and half finishes. Boy, nice work inside, Hayes to Ethan Half. It's good in. Koenig flying high with a rebound. Now Wisconsin trying to push it a little bit, Koenig. Koenig gets all the way in and uses the glass. Well, Bronson Koenig, coast to coast. Oh, good job. Three for a guy who really hasn't been able to get it going. Wisconsin, just four points in the second half. Here is Koenig, buries the three. That's a big one for Can't get it to go, and now Hap comes away with it. Koenig up ahead. Koenig will stop and pop. Friendly roll. Offensive foul gives the Badgers the ball, down eight. Hayes backing down. Hayes hits Brown. Got it. Beautiful stroke from Vito Brown, and a big one for Bucky. Beautiful stroke, but also good job. Good work by Vito Brown. Kane, a little step back. Yes. Two point. I don't know if that's a term yet. He's got 12 in the second half. Koenig. Guarded by Sandifer. A three pointer is good. Bronson Koenig. That's been the offense, right? Over. And now Wisconsin a chance to tie or take the lead. Dump it inside. Brown fighting hard. Brown's got it. All tied at 67.